Mm -hmm. uh, recording is on. Good morning. This is Jackie Camfield. I am the state treasurer for the League of Women Voters. Um, we thank anyone who chooses to listen to this webinar that you're interested in learning about the budget before convention. As you see here on the slide, you can see our uh, budget committee. These members um, have also served as your finance committee for the past year or so, some of us two years. And uh, we would like to thank them for all the work that they did do to help um, build this budget. We started this process back in uh, November and we got the final approval from the state board in March. And so with that, we'll go ahead and start off with um, giving you some background. As you can see here, what we're showing you are the proposed budget for the League of Women Voters of California and the League of Women Voters California Education Fund. Uh, for those of you who are new to convention uh, or into the League, the uh, organization has two different, or, I'm sorry, the League has two different organizations and they both help serve the League's purpose. As a League of Women Voters uh, member, you will be voting on the LWVC budget, but we wanted to make sure that you saw both budgets because both combined help achieve our organization's goals. <clears throat> the League of Women Voters education budget will be approved by the League of Women Voters board as shown on the slide. <clears throat> So when you go forward to build a budget, one of the first things that you need to understand is your revenue that you'll have. And on the slide here, you see all the different revenue, operational revenues that the League of Women Voters and the League of Women Voters um, Education Fund have. Uh, as you can see, um, one place where all of our members contribute on um, the per member payment represents about 20% of our revenue between the two organizations. Uh, contributions for both the LWVC and the LWVC EF amount to about another 20%. And then an area that has been growing for us is the earned revenue area, which is a little more than 20% right now. We get monies from our um, LU, which is our online tool to help uh, leagues um, have a presence on the internet. We also get support from our county uh, registrars for Voters Edge. And as you know, every two years we have convention and the income that um, everyone contributes and that we earn from different people is placed in the convention revenue there. Another large chunk that we get um, is with our restricted contributions and grants. And the Irvine Foundation has been a big supporter of the league as well as the California libraries. Um, lastly, we have some small miscellaneous income for rent and when people buy publications and interest, that sort of thing. As you can see on the slide here, the League of Women Voters of California operational revenues is about 750000 over the two years, and the League of Women Voters Ed Fund is about a million. Um, I say that because we may actually earn, uh, receive the Irvine Grant Foundation monies before our fiscal year 2017. And so that monies will be recorded in the prior year, but we will be using it over the 2017-19 year. Sorry, I, I skipped a slide. <laughs> um, but for those of you have uh, who looked at the convention budgets, you may be wondering uh, why I said operational um, revenues compared to um, the total revenues. As uh, the league was looking at our revenues the past few years and uh, our challenges that we we're having when it comes to cash during the year, we felt it was important and so did the finance committee to build up the reserves for the league and we're calling it the operational reserves. The, lead, uh, the finance committee did uh, some research, found it was a good practice to have approximately six month reserve for your operational um, expenses. And so they recommended and the board recently approved both uh, an operational reserve for policy for the League of Women Voters of California and also the League of Women Voters California Ed Fund. Um, we know it will take a while to raise these monies and we're going to push ourselves to earn these monies over the next 
three years. On the slide there to the right, you kind of get a, a picture of where we are hoping to earn our revenues. You'll see that the Legal Women Voters of California will be starting out with some money, that's the blue bar, but then the red, green, and purple will be raised over the following uh, three years. For the Legal Women Voters of California, we're estimating that's about 40,000 each year, and for the Ed Fund, about 78,000. <clears throat> These funds will help the league uh, sustain itself for the long term to make sure we're able to have our mission and programs um, achieved. As far as expenses, this is a picture that shows the uh, proposed expenses for both organizations over the next two years. Uh, as you can see, 70% of the monies that uh, will be spent, plan to be spent go towards our program. Um, and of the program, a good 60% are towards our voters' uh, education type work, and that's the easy uh, voter guide, the voters' education, and the community education piece there. Um, on the top side of the, the, the program is our member services. That is the support of uh, the board. Um, choosing to make sure we continue our work on leadership development for our local leagues and to support our, our MTAs, management and training advisors. I hope I'm saying that word right. <laughs> and also to um, give tools to our local leagues for program and voter service as well as training the local leagues. Uh, the convention is a big ticket item for the league every two years, and so that is um, for the expenses to support the convention. Uh, most of that is supported by um, donations in our um, costs that we did for attending the registration. The LU or League Easy Web is uh, set aside not only for our current LU, but also for new LU. If you've been reading the different materials, you know that we are wanting to enhance um, our league um, presence online and by going to a new software, we'll be able to do that. And this, these are funds set aside for that. On the advocacy side, these funds are used by our ledge committee, also for software that we purchased to help us you know, track the bills in the California legislators and any other advocacy work we do um, and all the action alerts that you've been seeing recently. There's been definitely a lot more activity that is going um, in that area. Um, I should note that we are not um, proposing any increase in our per member payment. We're keeping that at $28 over the next two years. This was um, achieved not only by the uh, fundraising efforts that have been done by our um, league staff, but also there, as you'll note, there was a lot of work that was done to make us more efficient in our operational costs. Uh, the league is moving forward to move our state office so we can reduce costs there. And we've also, um, staff has also done work to lower our operational uh, and telecommunication costs. Uh, we do that so that we can make sure our money goes as far and as wisely as possible. Um, this slide here is just showing the proposed expenses uh, that was the picture on the last page in a little bit more detail so you can see the breakdown between um, our salaries and benefit costs, travel, you know, services, office and occupancy uh, type costs. Most of our costs is uh, related to personnel and when we are a service organization that is appropriate. So about 60% of our costs goes towards our, our staff that uh, does all our hard work for us. And um, our costs for um, the office is about 16% uh, and services around 21% and we've had uh, questions in the past about travel. And so we wanted to show that the uh, Travel costs are approximately 5% of the um, budget. Um, 
Just one second here. I will say the reason why we're showing this functional view was at the last convention, uh, some of our members asked for a different view from the regular object expense type format. And so we're hoping that this one does show a, a better view of how we're using our monies. And um, with that, you know, if there is any additional information, um, that you have a question about, you can either contact my myself. Um, you can find my uh, email on the league website. There's also some more budget detailed information in pages 78 through 83 of the convention book. Um, we also will have a, a question and answer um, sessions June 3rd in the morning. And then if you didn't get enough, you can come back and see us, you know, at night after our presentation. With that, the, that ends the overall um, presentation. And um, I look forward to seeing everyone at the state convention. Thank you so much.